Hey, what up, Long Beach? Welcome back to the562.org. It's Mike. And JJ, and this football highlight video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. Long bus ride to the foothills of Long Beach Poly is visiting the Munga. Jack Rabbits in Rancho Cucamonga for a CIF quarterfinal game, JJ. You know you're the only one who calls it that, right? <laughs> the Munga. The Cougars are led by a very talented senior, CJ Stroud, the All-American, probably gonna end up at Ohio State. This kid is a stud, and going up against him is a hungry young Jack Rabbits team with an awful lot to prove. I feel like they've already proved a lot this year. Definitely that win over Olu, magical. The defense coming out ready to play, Jonathan Scott with a big sack early. That was the key to beating Stroud and the Cougars. Well, that's been the key for Polly to be successful for a really long time. Then the sophomore Jordan Wheeler making the huge play for the Jackrabbits. That's the other thing they needed. They needed turnovers. They needed some weird stuff to happen here to flip the talent differential. And then Makai Jordan's going to find the junior Anthony Curtis for a big gain on the next play. And here oh, we go. Things looking up for green and gold right now. But the poly offense just not in sync in this first half, missing on that one. They're going to turn it back over. The defense working very hard. Cougars did not get anything easy in this one. Drawing a lot of holding penalties, forcing them to the outside, sometimes both in one play like on that one. And then the big plays were there. Look at Ramil Brown haul this thing in. What? And I'm going to slow this down for you because my knees basically just popped in half watching this thing in slow motion. Look at his legs. Did he think that was the out-of-bounds line and he had to drag <laughs> his feet to get in? I don't know, but on a muff punt, the Jackrabbits have life because Wheeler is going to recover this thing with great field position. Polly offense had great field position almost the whole first half inside the 30 yard line wheel of her, the Cougars. Wheel him, he's wheeling everybody tonight. But fourth down, still nothing doing for the Jackrabbits offense, also hampered by a lot of penalties in this first half. And then the Cougars are gonna wake up in the second quarter, a nice game there for Quentin Moten. And then Stroud is gonna hit Moten for a long touchdown. They're not gonna get him, JJ, and this is gonna put the Cougars up 7-0. Moten usually looking for protection, but the point and laugh, way to look, make it look like you've never been there before. <laughs> he was flagged, so the Jackrabbits are gonna get a lot of room to return, and return it they would. It's the sophomore again, Jordan Wheeler, wheelering and dealering down the field. Big wheel keep on turning. <laughs> uh, well, we're really excited to see this kid next year too, just a sophomore. Well, th to me, this is the fun thing about the playoffs. Someone else always gets to step up and kind of have that spotlight but another red zone trip is going to come up empty for the jackrabbits that ball deflected and knocked down poly defense continuing to play tremendously poly's kylan neal helping lead the defense with two sacks in this game and then anthony parker almost flips this oh. game on its head yeah that's a sliding doors moment that could have been a lot different second half our Pew Mo and Neil with the big stop here, but you can just only ask a defense to stop an All-American caliber offense so many times. Eventually the dam bursts and Rancho Cucamonga would take a 14-0 lead into the locker room. But if you're Long Beach Poly on the road against an All-American, gotta feel good. Absolutely. You're staying in the game. Second half, the defense is going to keep on balling and give the ball back to the offense. Jack Rabbit's going a little bit more run heavy in the third quarter here. I would have done the exact same thing. It's working. They're getting into Cougars territory, but on fourth and short, they're going to come up a little short of where they wanted to be and turn the thing back over. The defensive strategy basically became just hit everything that moves. Wait, were they going against a double wing? <laughs> a lot of RPO stuff from the Cougars. Jack Rabbit's doing a great job of bottling it all up. And then finally, Makai Jordan finds Kyron Rachel, and the Jackrabbits are on the board just like that. From all the frustration for Polly, it's a 14-7 game, and they are right in this thing. When everybody else at the other game saw that update, they were like, oh, Polly's going to win this game. Here, here we go. Polly with the ball back, and it's another big Jordan to Brown hookup. So he really felt like he had action here. Jackrabbits getting down inside the 30 again, but that is where they had really struggled in this game. They did not have any difficulty getting down into the red zone. We go to fourth down. Jordan looking and looking and looking. He's got all kinds of time. <laughs> but he just can't find anyone to throw it to. The flag is for holding, and he's tackled on fourth down to turn it over on downs. Literally the next play, a long touchdown run for Samuel Ivoko. Man, that always happens. It is always the way the Cougars go up 21-7 with less than five minutes left in the game. Polly, desperation time. They reached into the hat, but I used all that magic last week. The rabbits cannot pull a rabbit out of the hat, and Rancho Cucamonga is going to go on to win this thing. The Jackrabbits had 100 yards more offense and doubled them up in passing yardage, but failed 21-7, could not execute in the red zone. And it's the end of the season for a talented young Jackrabbits team who we're sure we'll be hearing a lot more about in the future. But for the rest of your Long Beach sports coverage, you've got to keep it right here at the562.org.